This is a 20,000 tree planted in a multiple year effort between WPC and partners and a lot of happy volunteers that have put a lot of time into helping reforest streams to control sedimentation and improve water quality. The trees planted in here are a mix of native shrubs and hardwood trees. They are important for sediment control. Some of the trees are in tubes which protect them from deer browse and rodents from chewing on them. They have nets on top which are to prevent bluebirds and other birds that sometimes like to pop down in the tubes to pick bugs from going in there. And as the trees emerge in 7 to 10 years, the nets will be pushed down and the tube will come off. The fencing was important to restrict the livestock from going into the stream. It took a lot of communication education to make the farmer aware that moving his cattle will make a huge difference for water quality, as well as for herd health. Uh, when the cows stand in the stream, they can get foot rot and have some issues with their milking, so giving them an alternative watering source and controlling how much mud they get on them makes happy cows and happy water. As part of the stream bank fencing project, we restrict the cows from entering the stream to drink, so we need to give them an alternative watering source, which this is an example of. It's a continuous flow. It's catching spring water and then piping it away through this overflow pipe. As the cattle graze, they are walking and tramping through an area and pulling up the grass, so this is what this whole bottom would look like, this kind of loose soil with limited grass on it and this is what planting the trees over on this side and reducing the livestock access allows this grass to take hold and control the sediment so the bank over there that's kind of slothing away will grow grass and stabilize itself.